Hey everyone, it is Mike Kintorski here, and typically I'm coming to you with the latest and greatest Rivian news, but I do want to share that I just purchased a Tesla Model 3 rear wheel drive. I just couldn't pass up on the incentives right now as far as the federal and state go, and I want to share a quick video about the build quality of my rear wheel drive. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so here she is. So we have the grayed out rear wheel Model 3. Um, let's start at the front here. I already did put a black emblem over the silver just because I like how it looks. And this is just a simple adhesive right over the top. It's not perfect, but from a distance, I think it looks great. Um, we're gonna look at the panel gappings at each headlight. So overall, I think that this build quality is so good i really couldn't find too much wrong with it there's some little things but nothing too bad panel gaps especially around both headlights they are fantastic this one does bump up just a little bit more but overall just taking a look at it i'm pretty happy all right the hood alignment as well very small panel gaps nothing to complain about um, it's nice and smooth right against where that emblem is in the front so the coefficient of drag should be really good and then around the quarter panels here you know with those doors a lot of people have problems with the doors possibly bumping into that quarter panel but on the left side, it looks fantastic. I shouldn't have any issues with that. And then on this other side as well, it looks pretty even. You know, there should be no issues with the panels rubbing against one another. Now we have the head, or we have the all the different cameras. So this is hardware three. As you can see, there's no red tint to it. So that would be hardware four, but those are more more likely to be on the Model Ys. All right, now let's come over to the handles. So handles are pretty smooth, you know, no real issues of anything popping out, especially on the driver side. And then the rear as well. If we come all the way over to the opposite side, we're gonna see that the passenger side, you know, nice and flush, maybe a little bit more up on the edge here, but you know, nothing to complain about. And then the back one is, it's pretty much perfect. You know, I can't, I can't complain with those different panels. If we come up onto our glass roof, you know, we see where the glass meets for that front windshield and then the sunroof. Um, it's pretty picture perfect. As we come to the middle, we can kind of look. Again, there's, you know, a little bit more of a gap but it's still like there should be no issues with any rain or anything like that I'm, uh, I'm pretty happy as we come down we're gonna come down to where that lift gate is um, again pretty solid you know there's a little bit of a gap but nothing that's gonna cause any issues with bringing up the trunk we're gonna wrap around Again, very smooth in the back here. And as we come to the other side, we have the same, same amount of panel gap. I'm not, I'm, I'm not worried about that at all. I think it looks fantastic, especially as I was looking at reviews online. I think it's just, it's one of the best I've actually seen. So I was super happy with how that came out. As we come to the doors, you know, very good alignment. Should be no issues with shutting. Same thing, the driver door, very happy there. And then as we come around to the passenger side, this one's a little bit more out of alignment. Um, you know, I was at the dealership and I didn't really think to say anything because it still looks really good. Same thing, you know, with the, with the passenger door, it actually looks spot on, nice and close. Okay, so coming to the taillight here, um, overall looks fantastic. There's a little bit of separation right up in here. Again, 
I think it looks fantastic as we come nice and low and just follow that trunk panel gapping looks spot on I have no issues there and then as we come up to this right tail light there's a little bit of gapping here um, but again really nothing that I feel like I need to worry about the hatch opens up nice and easily it closes nice and easily and overall I'm super happy with this build quality I can't complain all right now let's look at the paint I think that overall paint looks really good I'm surprised at the fact that I haven't really noticed any defects I'm sure if I looked a lot closer I could see some defects within the paint um, my car is a little bit dirty as I've had it for almost a week now but the thing that I've noticed a lot with people's reviews is that when you open the door on the inner panels, it's not like they finished painting the whole car. But with my Model 3, you know, they did a really good job of getting all the panels. There's nothing that I can see where the car isn't painted, which I am super happy with because it just makes it look a little bit unfinished if you don't have that paint. But overall super clean as far as the paint goes and it's the same thing on the passenger side um, so if you're about to get a new model 3 or model y i think that the paint jobs overall are getting a little bit better my car was built in fremont california just as a little bit of a reference all right guys let's head into the interior i think that interior wise it's great. My car does not come with any floor mats, so I've been rocking without the floor mats for now. Um, the trim, I thought it was going to look a little bit cheap as far as that wood paneling goes, but I think it looks better in person than it does in, you know, in anyone's YouTube videos or even on the website. You know, I'm coming from a Ford Escape 2017, and this just feels super premium compared to that. You have that nice suede, get the nice, you know, texturized. It's a little plasticky, but it has that soft touch to it. Um, up top, things are looking really nice. And then obviously you have the newer phone chargers there. You have the cubby where that's nice and smooth the seats super comfortable all the stitching looks fantastic super happy with how everything is looking here the steering wheel you know love the heated steering wheel for the winter that's fantastic um, and then let's see that nice sunroof which has a really good tint I was thinking that I was going to add a little bit more tint but after being in this been pretty solid um, and I, I don't feel like I actually need any more tint we have you know we have all this good stuff everything is nice and secure there's nothing that I feel like you know is loose there's no rattles that I can hear um, let's hop back out of the car like yeah look at that I just love this stitching around the side and again, I'm not coming from a luxury BMW or a Mercedes, so I'm still super happy with this. I like minimalism right now, and I think it's just been super quality as far as what I'm, you know, what I can see. Um, a lot of people said that there's rattling in these. You know, it moves a tiny bit, but nothing that I'm concerned about, and no rattling that I think is going to really be, you know, heard. Um, you know, pedals have been fantastic. Barely use the brakes because of that one pedal driving, which is awesome. And let's just check out the back as well. You know, the back, just like the front, just like the front, you know, everything looks solid. You know, everything is working, which I'm very happy with. You have your type C USB ports there again the panel suede you know you have your plastic back here that's totally fine I'm not spending any time in the back of my car 
So everything so far, it's looking great. Got a little, uh, some fingerprints on that, on that panel already. I'm probably going to get a, a protector for the screen just to easily clean it. But yeah, I'm super happy with the build quality. All right, thank you guys so much for watching my review of the quality of this Tesla Model 3 rear wheel drive 2023. I think my biggest takeaways are that the build quality is really good at this point. These cars have been being built for so long and they should have it down by now. And this is obviously going to be the last of this type of Model 3 as the Project Highland is coming out. So hopefully they'll be able to get all of those bumps out of the road. Um, build quality, really good in this car. Paint quality, I think is also really good, but it could be dependent. I'm not super picky. I think the paint looks great on this and it is fully finished where a lot of people were not having like the inner panels being finished. So that looks really good. Um, but if you would like more content on my Tesla Model 3, or if you'd like to be updated more on Rivian News, that's what I like to do every week. Please like, subscribe, comment to my channel. And remember that adventure is always out there. Peace.